Hey guys, I'm Tech and thanks for watching our series. In this video, we're going to take a look at a few pieces of jewelry that have either some or a lot of stones, pearls, any kind of uh, substance that's not gold. And we're going to walk through each item and explain how we usually handle these, these pieces and give you a recommendation on how you should do it as well. So please enjoy. All right, guys, here we have some items that will definitely confuse even an experienced scrap gold buyer. And these items are a, a watch, earrings with pearls set right into them, a gold necklace with pearls set into it, a pair of diamond earrings that may or may not be real, a necklace with bead embedded right into it, and a matching necklace and earring set with a lot of glass, it looks like, here. Um, so what we're going to do is take a look at each of these items, and we're gonna put together a strategy uh, based on how we handle these items for our customers that you guys can use um, that will help you along the way. So let's start over here and um, we'll start with the watch. First things first when it comes to watches, we have a rule where we just don't really consider buying them. We just don't, we don't really get into the watch business. But if you guys really want to buy a watch, um, look for the, the best of brands like Rolex for example, and what you want to do is call the manufacturer and get some kind of report on the watch, like a breakdown of all the gears inside, uh, the carat amount of the watch, and how many grams of pure gold is actually in the watch. You can get that from the manufacturer. And then you also want to test it to make sure. So for this item right here, right out of the gate, we're going to say, no, we're not going to buy it. Now, next is this set of earrings these pearl earrings, all right? Um, let's say for the sake of an argument that we went through and tested these and they test out as 14 carat. However, the earrings are pretty large um, and it looks to be probably about 50% of the weight of these earrings is just contained in those pearls alone. So what we're gonna do with these is we're going to weigh them, okay? The weight of these earrings comes out to 1.5 grams. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our handy calculator and we're going to do 1.5 minus, or excuse me, times 0.5. All right, so we have 0.75 grams. That's after we subtracted out 50% of the total weight, all right? Now that we've subtracted out half of the weight of these earrings, we know that we have 0.75 grams of gold value here. We're going to inform to the customer, inform the customer rather that because of the weight of these pe these pearls, they don't have any resale value. Um, we can only pay out half of the weight, and 99% of the time, the customer will be like, "Okay, that's fine, no problem. I still want to sell it." So we want to take these and put them in their 14 karat little um, Tupperware container here. Save those for later. Next, we have a pearl necklace, okay, with some white gold in it, but it's full of these pearls, just a massive amount of pearls, right? Um, and are you going to clip out every single one of these pearls at the party, okay, and then, and then just to, to weigh these little pieces of metal? What if the customer decides they don't want, the customer decides they don't want to sell this piece? So we need to be very, um, smart here, uh, or at least try to be, and we're gonna weigh this item, and we're gonna pay out, let's say, 5% of the total weight of this item, at the most 10, um, because the majority of the weight is contained in these pearls, and again, inform the customer of this. So we're gonna weigh our item here. Now, the, the total weight is 6.7 grams, so we're gonna do 6.7 times Let's say 5%, 0 0.05. That's 
So it's one third of a gram that we're going to pay out to the customer of 14 karat gold. Okay. And one other thing that we can't forget, um, and I should have mentioned this right at the beginning, is we need to be writing down our gram amounts. So I'm going to write down the gram amount for the first set of earrings, and that is 14 karat, and that is 0.75 grams. Okay, and the next is 0.33 grams. Okay, now we're going to move on. Next we have a beautiful pair of what look to be diamond earrings. Okay, a nice shot of these. They look really nice, but we have no idea whether or not the diamonds are real. And whether or not they're real, we're not in the business of diamond buying. Um, unless you guys have professional certification, I don't recommend you getting into this area of paying people for stones. So what we're going to do is we're going to guesstimate. We're going to look at these closely and say, okay, um, probably half the weight on this is contained in those stones. So we're going to pay out 50% of the weight on these, despite how great they look. They look amazing, but we can only pay out 50%. We're going to weigh them. So the weight is 3.4 grams, 3.4 times 0.5 equals 1.7 grams. So that's what we're going to credit to the customer, 1.7 grams, assuming this is 14 karat gold, put it in our 14 karat bucket, and that amount, 1.7 grams, we add into our um, sales slip here. And let's just imagine that the customer's name and everything is right up here. So now we move right on down the list. 